Hello and welcome back to Chemistry. It is All That Matters and today we're going to look at acid nomenclature. So how do we name acids? So in naming acids or for acid nomenclature we're going to look at two basic forms of acids and the first form of acid we're going to look at are the binary acids and binary acids are acids that are formed between a hydrogen bonded to a non-metallic element. So we are looking for acids that look like this, HF, HCl, H2S, HI, and H2O. Noticing that in each case we have a hydrogen as our leading element, and then we have a non-metal um, element that follows, in this case fluorine, chlorine, sulfur, iodine, and oxygen. The second form of acid that we're going to deal with is the are the oxy acids and the oxy acids are acids that form between when a bond forms between hydrogen and a polyatomic ion containing oxygen so in these cases we're looking for this situation where we have hydrogen to the polyatomic nitrate HNO3 hydrogen to the polyatomic carbonate CO3 hydrogen bonded to a sulfate SO4 and hydrogen bonded to the phosphate PO4. So let's look at these rules for naming both types of acids, both the binary acids and the oxy acids. So first we're going to take a look at the binary acid nomenclature and the binary acid will always begin with the prefix hydro to indicate the hydrogen element. The second part of the name is formed by the root of the second element and will always follow the, with the suffix ic. So we will have the root of the secondary element and the suffix will always be ic. So let's begin with the formula HF. We start with the prefix hydro because of hydrogen. We then add the root for fluorine which is fluor and we end with the suffix ic giving us hydrofluoric acid. So here we have HCl and we're going to take the prefix hydro for hydrogen, chlor for chlorine, ic is the, always the suffix in a binary acid and we end up with hydrochloric acid. Two more examples H2S hydro for hydrogen Sulfur for the sulfur being the second element, ic, and we end up with hydrosulfuric acid. And last example, HI, hydro iode for iodine, ic is the suffix, giving us hydroiodic acid. So in binary acids, very simplistic, hydro use the root of the secondary element or the non-metal, end with the suffix ic, and we have our binary acid nomenclature. So let's take a look at the second form of the acids that we will be looking at nomenclature for, and those are the oxy acids. Once again, an oxy acid is a hydrogen bonded to a polyatomic containing oxygen. So we are looking at oxy acids beginning with the root from that polyatomic. The second part of the name is based upon the suffix of the polyatomic ion, where an acid whose name ends in eight, we will end with the suffix ic in the name of the acid, and if the acid whose ion ends in ite, the suffix will end in ous or os. So we have examples here and HNO3 the ion being used is nitrate notice the suffix here is 8 so the root becomes NITR for the nitrate the suffix is ic because when it's 8 it's ic and we end up with nitric acid whereby we get HNO2 this is the nitrate nitrite ion, the ITE being the suffix, 
Again, the root is N-I-T-R. We end with O-U-S for the it, and that gives us nitrous acid. H2SO4 gives us a sulfate ion being attached to the hydrogen. This gives us S-U-L-F-U-R, sulfur. The suffix being eight means the suffix for the name is going to be ic, giving us sulfuric acid. And when we get H2SO3 or sulfite, the I-T-E tells us it's O-U-S attached to the root sulfur. So we have here sulfurous acid. So let's look at a couple more examples and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the acid formula HBr and go ahead and write out what you think the name might be on a piece of scratch paper or in your notes and let's see how you did. So we're going to start with hydro because this is a binary acid so we're always going to start with hydro. We're going to use the root from the nonmetal brome BRM for bromine, and it's going to always end in ic when it's a binary, giving us hydrobromic acid. Let's try another one. So H2CO3. So go ahead and write down what you think the name should be. For this case, of course, we're using a oxy acid, so we're going to use the root for the polyatomic carbonate, which is carbon. Since it ends in 8, whenever we end in 8, we're going to use the suffix ic, and this is going to give us carbonic acid. So hopefully you got that one correct. Let's try two more examples. Let's go with hc 2 h 30 2 now this is not a binary, this again is an oxy acid because we have the oxygen in the acetate polyatomic. We're going to use the root at ACET from acetate. It ends in 8, so we're going to stick with the IC ending and get acetic acid. And let's try our last example, and that's H3PO3. So go ahead and write out what you think the name of this acid is. Again, it's a oxy acid because of the O3 in the polyatomic, and that is belonging to the polyatomic phosphite. We're going to use the root phosphor for phosphorus. And since it ends in I-T-E, we have the O-U-S suffix, and this should have been phosphorus acid. So hopefully you have the basics now of naming both binary and oxy acids, and I want you to go out and keep working on your chemistry. Thank you.